Hello guys and um, welcome to this unboxing video of the Japanese infantry uh, from Warlord Games. The infantry can be used in the early, mid and late war. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you, I'm going to show you the box art, um, all around the box, around the back. Then I'm going to open it up, see what we get inside um, and go from there. But I know in the earlier versions of these boxes, because I only purchased this a few months ago, um, they didn't include the laying down uh, bases. Uh, you'd either have to buy those separately or you have to make them up yourself. Um, they're for the machine gunners. You can have a rifleman doing it as well. But it be interesting to see if Warlord have actually put those in the box now. Um, so, yeah, that's the front. Uh, we've got the back of the box. So it just gives you a bit of information. Um, what you're getting in the box gives you a little bit of fluff here about uh, the Japanese. Um, you've got just little images and bits and bobs, haven't you? Um, so yeah. Sides. And just on the side there. So, let's open this up. Alright, first thing I'm seeing straight away is 25 of the old style uh, bases. So they're the ones without the indents in the middle like you get on the newer style ones. Um, so it's those. Uh, what we got here? So we've got the Japanese infantry um, give you a sprue content. So. I like it because I've been modelling a while. Some people that are new into the hobby, um, that are just getting started. This was a bit of a learning curve for me when I first started with Warlord Miniatures. I'd been used to Games Workshop. Um, and as you can tell, this is this is your assembly instructions. Um, so I will be doing a video on how to assemble these guys in the future. But... Um, just to help people out because I found it a bit of a struggle, but it gives you, it does give you the numbers. So it figures everything one to do, do, do and tells you what each individual component is, but it doesn't give you a guide on um, how to put them together. So you, you, they're, they're multi-post, so you can put them together yourself. Um, so let's have a look at that. So I'll put that to one side. So looks like we've got five identical sprues. Yeah, five of those screws. So you've got here, let's put those to one side. Um, so basically, for this, start on the top left, you've got the uh, Japanese suicide anti tank uh, arms. So on the end of here, you would have a, a mine which they would stick to tanks and blow themselves up. You've got what well, looks a bit a just a normal rifle. Uh, you've got a rifle with a bayonet. Uh, you've got a type. 99 light machine gun for your squad. Um, so you've got another rifle with a bayonet just here. Uh, you've got a katana sword. Uh, you've got a rifle with bayonet again. Um, only one arm. Uh, you've got a guy posing, looks like he's running. Another guy that's running. Um, you've got a guy that's advancing, a guy that's standing still. Uh, you, this 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 is um, quite cool, which I really do like about uh, the Japanese infantry. They give you the option to have a person that's uh, posing line line down, so like with a machine gun. Um, some of the other kits, like the uh, British paratroopers, you don't get that with the Bren gun guys. You've got to have them standing, which I really find quite frustrating. Um, but another thing I've noticed with these kits as well is the legs are actually attached to the torsos. Um, with some of the other kits, that doesn't happen. So you have to put it all together. I found that with some of the British kits. Um, you've got, by the looks of it over here, so you've got like water bottle, binoculars, pistol. Uh, looks like the back, possibly, of a submachine gun or a bolt. No, it's a bolt action rifle back. Um, so you've got also, it looks like a pistol, uh, pistol holster. Uh, you've got some backpacks here. Um, we've also got down the bottom here, we've got another rifle just on its own. So if you want to have it just laying on a base, um, just for aesthetics to look quite cool, I guess you could do that. You've got another Type 99 machine gun here. That looks like a submachine gun. 
you've got a bugle caller, uh, you've got tripod for the machine gun, uh, it looks like you've got the webbing uh, kit for around the, around the waist here, some have got bayonets on, um, this, this gun's here looks like it's got an entrenching tool, which is pretty cool. Uh, got arms down the bottom here, so it look like they're gripping stuff. That looks like the uh, submachine gun uh, hand for the magazine for that guy. Light mortar, which is pretty cool. You get light mortar in uh, every kit, which is nice. Um, finger pointing. Um, what else we got here? We got sword uh, scabbard, katana sword itself, grenade. Um, just normal gripping of the hands. And it looks like I've got a missing part just there. So let me just check the other sprues. Yes, I do have a missing arm there. I'll be checking in the box in a minute, see if that's there. Um, but you've also got, at the top here, you've got different style heads. So you've got a load of helmeted heads just here. You've got flat caps here for your officers if you want to make some officers up. Uh, there's another helmet there. Um, it looks like a hammer of grenade in there as well, which is quite cool. So that's a sprue, so that's the chunk of it, which is nice. What have we got? Uh, we've got flags here. So you can attach these flags around like the rifles. Um, it does, I think it gives you, I think I've just seen on the box. No. Uh, it doesn't give you any examples of where to attach them, but I'm these ones go around the end of the rifles, and I'm pretty sure these ones are like the flags so that you can make it go out of a flagpole and things like that, which is quite cool. Um, but it was, it, what, what's quite cool is it looks like they're generic in all the different types of um, box sets because they do a naval landing force, and you've got navy in insignia there, uh, normal national flag, and the Imperial Japanese Army one there, and there's loads of different ones here, devotional banners. Yeah, there you go, to attach the rifles and backpacks, etc. So you can uh, do those. That That is paper, by the way. It's not not, not super thin. It's like, more like a bit of card. That's there. What else we got here? Oh, they did. So, this is new. With the Japanese, I actually come with the bases, which is a really big plus warlord. Um for the guys that are lying down, which you don't have to buy separate anymore. That's that's really cool. I like that. Um, but no missing arm unless it's falling out somewhere. But it's not a big deal um, for myself because I check the arms. I'm sure I can make it up with something else. But yeah, so that was the Japanese infantry box set. You get 30 hard plastic minis in it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and there'll be more of these to come.